This is a great example of how plug points into equations. Our main math strategy creeps into all sorts of places, even topics that don't feel related to basic algebra or the XY plane questions that we usually use it on. So we're going to plug points into equations here. Do we have points? Yeah, we got a bunch of numbers. Those are probably points. Do we have an equation? Well, they're talking about the mean. The mean score of eight players in a basketball game was 14.5 points. If the highest individual score is removed, the mean score of the remaining seven players becomes 12 points. What is the highest score, right? We're talking about mean. We need to instantly know that we have an equation for mean. The mean, which is the average, is equal to the sum of the numbers over the number of numbers in a particular set. So without thinking too hard, I realize I have two of the three pieces that I need, right? I have eight players, that's the number of numbers, and the mean was 14.5. So again, don't think about it too hard. So 14.5 is my mean. My sum, I don't know, but I know the number of numbers is eight. So what do you do here? Well, hopefully you've done enough algebra in your life that you know that if you've got a missing piece and you can solve for it, you might as well, right? So just multiply both sides by eight. We're going to get that alone. The sum is going to be whatever my calculator tells it's me it's gonna be. So 14.5 times eight is 116. Now I don't really even bother to pause to think about what that means because I, it, what, what matters to me next is, I, I, don't, I can't do anything with that, right? Obviously it's not an answer, there's, there's some more to the question, but then I think about it again, the mean of the remaining seven players is 12 points. So again, I can plug into this equation, the seven points, uh, the seven players have a mean of 12, so let's do the same thing, and now we have a different sum that we're solving for. So the same move happens. Let's multiply each side by 7, and we get that the sum is, I don't know my 12 times tables, 12 times 7 is 84. So now what? Well, a score was removed. We went from 8 players to 7 players, and in so doing, we lost what? However many points this is, right? So why don't we just do some basic subtraction here? What is 116? minus 84. 116 minus 84 is 32. That's it. That's the whole question. So I, I say this in a lot of videos, but I think it's especially true when we start getting into weirder topics where maybe we don't have as much practice because there might only be two or three statistics questions on any particular practice test. So there's just not a lot here, but we do have some formulas. And as much as possible, we want to plug points into equations. So I think if you were stuck on this and you were debating what to do from the start, you were wasting time. You could have just written the formula down. We know we want an equation to plug things into. They're talking about the mean. They're talking about the average. So write that equation on your scratch paper and get to work. Just start plugging things in, see what happens. Odds are good. You'll figure it out as you go. I didn't need to know this last step from the start to be able to solve this question. I was able to use the formula twice. So we can get some numbers that made some sense and then think about what I might need to do. That last step maybe is the weird one, but the other two, plugging in the formula, you've got to be able to do that very quickly and confidently.